Right, you're watching Hot Stocks, and I'm here with Gerbrand Smit, and we're discussing the chicken and fish sector. We've got two smaller chicken companies to talk about next, and they are as follows, Quantum and Sovereign Foods. We're going to talk about Quantum first. Remember, this one bust itself out onto the market less than a year ago when the guys at Pioneer Foods decided they didn't want to be in the chicken and egg business and pushed it out onto the market, did a distribution in specie. That means from one day to the next, you suddenly got another holding in your account. It's involved with animal feeds a bit. It's headquartered down in the Cape. It's in eggs in layer livestock. That means chickens that actually lay the eggs for the purposes of manufacturing eggs to sell to other people in the little chick stage. And broilers as well. Broilers are the farms that actually produce the chickens. 23 days, apparently, is how long it takes to make a chicken go from infancy to ready to eat. Hmm, sounds tasty. 860 million rands worth of market cap. The price to earnings ratio and dividend are hard for us to calculate right now because, of course, it doesn't have a prior year operating history except pro formas, blah, blah, blah. Gerbrandt, though, you were saying that it looks interesting to you. Has it had a reasonable reception? I think the share price on screen will show that it's not looking too bad. Yeah, not bad. If you look at all them, uh, before it had a nice run, it, it was at a price to book of 0.5. I think it's a price to book of 0.6 now. Yep. Uh, it brought out decent first half numbers. Uh, if you look at the P, uh, it should come down to about six and a half, which is not expensive. So you reckon based on your projections of their earnings, it's on a six yeah, and a half? Look, if you just take the first half and you multiply it by yeah. two, then you get close to that. Um, so it looks at like a six and a half. Uh, it's about 30% or a third, a third uh, normal chicken business, a third feed and a, and a third uh, egg business. Right. Uh, so Based it's a number. bit more diversified than what Sovereign is, uh, mm -hmm. for instance. Uh, it's even more diversified than what Astral is. So mm. I like the, the little business, but uh, only time will tell. And, and you know how markets are, they're skeptical until people prove themselves yeah. for quite some time. So basically it means here that shareholder base of Quantum is the same as the shareholder base of Pioneer on any given day, and it's now going to take time. And that means Pioneer, there's a big chunk in Zeta, which is that PSG-linked agriculture-focused fund. So I don't know whether Zeta's got a view on Quantum, whether they're buyers or sellers, but certainly it doesn't look too bad. Well, I think the Pioneer guys are still holding their stake. Must be, so otherwise we would have noticed it would have gone certainly down. Certainly they still that holding was a big their one. stake. <laughs> um, okay. So, I mean, it looks like it's had a good reception so far. And as you say, the outlook for the industry is a little bit muted. But how are you going to call it, hot or not? Yeah, I'm going to go for hot. I just think this thing is the cheapest of, of all of them. And uh, although it's just chicken exposure and a bit of feed, it's mm. fine for me. Okay, I'm going to go with not hot, just because I don't like these kind of stories always <laughs> about, you know, let's see how it finds its level in the market and so on. Also, it's a bit small for my normal exactly. 1 billion 